this really had a, a bit of an evolution, and for me, it started with the investigators saying, we really need to do something different. We're, we're not having success with the clinical trials, and there was a sense that if we could get data standardized into a common format and people could share it, that things would really take off, and that we'd really be able to make some progress in this area. So it really was the investigators reaching out to me, saying, we really need to sort of do something different. and. Um, that was sort of the beginning, and some of the conversations I had with Dallas took it to the next level. Right. So. Yeah, we had uh, talked a lot about the need for some of the uh, major studies, the comparative effectiveness, that we, were, we knew that we were not going to get the answers by uh, continuing to just do the small little studies and so on, that we actually needed to start comparing trials and comparing groups and comparing things. But in terms of an, in analyzing what that would take, uh, we uh, really came to the conclusion that without a platform uh, that we're, where we could compare that data, right. that just launching into a comparative effectiveness trial would be a one-off, but really wouldn't get us to the level of study that we really needed. And that was really where we uh, pushed to develop this concept of this database repository, unlike anything that's been done before. This is not just a registry of, of patients that have been in a study, or in a, even in a large study. This is actually a repository of databases where people are submitting their data in its raw database form of whatever their study has, has collected into this common server architecture in a standard a format called CDEs where we can compare across these different studies. Never, nothing like this has, ever, has been done before. We were interested in doing this comparative effectiveness research, but we felt if we didn't have a place to put the data, we just couldn't do it. And so um, Dallas was fortunately able to come up with some of the funding to get this started and uh, through an MOU yeah. mm -hmm. with um, NIH. Uh, you know, yeah. came together to build it. So DOD was critical for the funding and then NIH and the yeah. Center for Information Technology was critical for sort of building that database. I mean, we had initially had the funding programmed and approved to do a large comparative effectiveness trial. But then when we really started to analyze the programmatics or, and the, particularly the, the logistics of trying to do something like that without something to base it on, Right. Really, we realized that we couldn't get it done in the time we needed to, and that's why setting this foundational effort, we put trying to put the infrastructure in place where that can now be done using a platform like this is really how we started. The theory is we have still to prove that this is this is the actual <laughs> the actual the hypothesis, if you will that by leveraging the strength of multiple studies that we can actually increase the power of the work going on in this field so that these studies are, are limited in scope on their own but by combining these efforts that we can actually achieve a level of power and a level of evidence beyond what those studies would be able to do on their own. I would say that what we've experienced are benefits far beyond what I what I expected in in the original concept of this. We thought that you know I thought that just having the data in one place and having people be able to access it would 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 really help in terms of uh, results being available sooner and being able to reuse that data more uh, right. more than once <laughs> in terms of just that one hypothesis and go on. What we've actually seen is it's really been one of the uh, factors that have helped to foster collaboration and helped to help with the communication among the, the different researchers as they're submitting data and as they're actually looking at and using, starting to use common data forms to actually uh, be submitted to this system. Their, their, their collaborations in the field have really been fostered that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Right. It's really pulled together like the track TBI study, which is, you know, civilian, primarily adults with a large, very large DOD NCAA sports concussion research study with the chronic effects of neurotrauma consortium that's also funded by DOD and VA. So it's, it's integrating all these groups in a way that I just don't really think would have happened without knowing that they all have to come into this database. So I, I 
think that you know it's it's already having an impact. I think it's already increasing the quality of the studies. I think that they're realizing that this is going to be shareable information. It's making everyone very mindful of getting good follow-ups. No one wants to have a lot of missing data. Mm -hmm. It's requiring that they have these manual operation procedures available. So mm -hmm. I think it's already uh, having an impact. And uh, people already have started merging some of their data and publishing. Uh, so I think we're at th the beginning, mm -hmm. but even if it stopped today, I think w we, in a sense, have succeeded because we've. I think we've improved the quality. But it, it's going to do much more. Absolutely, I and mean, this really fits the vision of uh, well, for one thing, the executive order on on open data, uh, making open, uh, making government-funded research data available to the public in machine-readable format. Well, we already were doing this before that ever came out, so we don't, right. have, we don't have to right. scramble to do that. So right. that's actually one thing. But that, again, openness, collaboration, uh, being able to uh, have multiple different minds look at the same data that's generated. I think we'll, we'll get right. results. And, and do comparisons that you really couldn't do alone. So the yeah. idea that you could compare the athletes to the uh, service members and veterans is, you know, in a single study you can't get that. Right. Bringing this data together will allow us to answer questions that we just couldn't do individually. So I think, I think the impact is going to be really huge.